overall, I'm just really happy too that they were able to hit their hit their cap right. Mm -hmm. A lot of great representatives here. We're gonna have people, some of the players that were actually at Apex coming back here. There right. was a sick trailer that I saw for Pokin that mentioned some of the guys that are here, and oh, I, saw, I that. saw a couple names that were in the Apex top eight. You know, Ooh. we saw uh, Cyberman, he had super sick Charizard. He got mm -hmm. second place. Mm -hmm. Catfight makes his return. Catfight who won. the Chandelure. <laughs> yes, yes, that Chandelure. And I have to tell you, man, that Chandelure definitely puts in work. Yeah. He, you know, there's a lot of great Chandelure mains out in, um, in Pokin, in the Pokin tournament scene. But uh, he's scary, man. Yeah. That Hex. Oh, that hex. And he gets like tipper hexes yeah. too, which is kind of sick. Have you, you seen know? that the hitbox of hex though? That yeah, I think DC posted it, that. It, Sometimes it's huge. <laughs> oh my god, it's crazy. Yeah. I couldn't believe when you look at the animation. It's like right near the tip. He actually manages to get it. But look at this, guys. Oh, we're in pools, and I believe we're gonna start off with our first match of the day again here at CL 2016. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So this is pretty sick because these guys, of course, will be battling for points that will qualify them, f I think, for... Yeah, for nationals. Or nationals. Or future events. Yes, future there you Pokemon go. Events. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, events. And this is the first match of the day. And we got, oh, look at her shirt. It says Filthy Casual. Filthy <laughs> Casual. And you know what's funny? She's probably far from that. Yeah, that's I know, a, right? That's the interesting I thing. I think it's a mind game. She's trying to psych out her opponent. I love it. All right, so we're already starting off with... Pikachu Libre? Yes, Pikachu Libre. And I like how some players sometimes call it R-Pika. <laughs> R-Pika? So, yeah, it's a really funny name. But <laughs> at the end of the day, the name is Pikachu Libre. And the opponent... Uh, was that... Skip. Uh, Sucks off? Uh, no, it's no. Chandelure. Chandelure. Okay. I haven't seen too much Pikachu Libre. Mm -hmm. You know what? I've seen... In Japan, I remember there was one moment where I seen a lot, and then it kind of dropped in popularity the moment. When people noticed how good the Mewtwo's were in like Charizard. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I think of the Glass Cannon characters, uh -huh. one could argue that there are some other ones that are a little bit more fleshed out at this point, like like Shadow Mewtwo and Chandelier. Right, oh, man, these players are so quick. Yeah. We're just going straight into it, and it looks like so <clears throat> for Jojo Senpai rocking Pikachu Libre, having the Fennekin get off me assist basically. And Skillton with Cresselia. So you can already see that if Skillton is in a tough situation where Skillton's gonna have to recover some gray health, right. you'll see Cresselia come back. But due to a recent nerf, uh, you don't have the invincibility when you use Cresselia, so you'll have to be careful. Right, right, right. And I think that's an important nerf, because you, you could get just that uh, that debuff that you were talking about, right? Mm. Cresselia. Ooh. And right there, we just saw Jojo Senpai fully charging uh, the counterattack just to beat Skillton's counterattack. Oh, great, great combo there from, from the field phase. That's just the, the simple Ember combo. Mm -hmm. But I'll say one thing. Now that we have Jojo Senpai at Rage, not only is the attack power increase, but there's also a defense increase as well. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be really interesting seeing what's going to happen here. Both players close to health. Never mind that. Counter just came out of nowhere. Yeah, he kinda, she kind of used her uh, synergy gauge and didn't get too much out of it, unfortunately. Yep, we just saw the health boost, but that counterattack just deleted all the health. We're going to yeah. go straight into round two here. Yeah, she could have even saved her uh, first attack to counterattack the counter. <laughs> it oh, like, gives you a lot of invincibility. Oh, and we have the debuff right there with the defense. So many debuffs. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah, I'm loving the zoning right there by Skillton. Oh, no. Keeping Pikachu Libre out. Pikachu Libre trying to devise some kind of plan to get inside. I can't believe the phase didn't shift for that long. Right? How much damage <laughs> was taken? What? Oh, and a perfect, the first perfect of the day. Oh. No, Pikachu Libre. Oh, very unfortunate right there for Jojo Senpai. But Looking mad. Okay. The Pikachu Libre. Yeah, Pikachu Libre just like pouting, you know? Oh, mm -hmm. oh. Mm -hmm. I, I'm surprised that uh, the phase shift didn't happen for so long. Yeah, it, it must. It, you know what? What it must be the the attacks just did not dish out that many uh, phase points. Right. If anything, you know. Right, right, right. All right. So here it is. We're gonna go straight. Uh, oh wait, this is actually legal. Ah, because I know usually they play strictly on Ferrum Stadium. That's yeah. what I thought, right? I guess so. Yeah, you're right. The, the stages are slightly different. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big fan of this stage, so uh, if it's. <laughs> It's legal. Uh. Let's go. <laughs> Why not? Why not, man? Yeah, we live it. <laughs> Is that smog debuff that goes right through the hex? Oh, yeah. all right. That was a counter attack, so there'll be a boost of damage, of course. Right. What a counter. 
Solid damage as well, getting the 30 extra damage from the wall splat. And if you notice right there, the side range attack from Chandelure doesn't have as much movement as it did before. Right. So it's a bit easier to hit the character. Oh, okay, trying to keep Pikachu Libre at bay again. And more debuffs from Chandelure. Well, it, seems like, it seems like Pikachu Libre is constantly debuffed. Oh, but this time Pikachu Libre, regardless of having the defense debuffs, uh, just charged right in, stayed inside of Chandelure's face and capitalized accordingly. Right. Uh-oh. Here we go again, the side rage attacks and the laser. Right, but this time Chandelier is fully charged on synergy and burst mode, so he should be prized to take this one. That that hex was a little bit preemptive. He was already past the range of hex when he tried it, so. Yeah, I was definitely about to say the same thing. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, and the stunner! <laughs> that, oh, I, I never, <laughs> that never gets a hold. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, I man. think the fact that they even added the uh, like the audience, you know, to, to get hype and cheer, yeah, 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 adds to it, you know. Luchador, it is again. Oh, and defense buff, forty nine uh, health left. Oh, what an adjustment from Jojo Senpai. This is looking like the opposite of the first game. And we have Reshiram coming through. Mm -hmm. Solid managing to block in time, though that would have been a decent amount of damage. Oh, and both of them go right into. First attack mode. Yeah, but Chandelure not having enough. Is that gonna out? work? Wow. Wow. wow! Right in the face of Pikachu Libre. <laughs> uh oh, let's see how much damage this is gonna be able to dish out. Will this be the end of the game? Is it? It's gonna be close. That's oh. it. Ooh. And with 20 HP remaining. No good for JoJo Senpai. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, so she hasn't go. been making the most out of her. Uh, First attack mode is what I've been noticing. Yeah. You know, she goes into it, but I don't, I, I don't see too much capital, capitalization from it. I definitely appreciate Joseph Senpai going for the uh, air strong attack. Ooh, basically yeah. dive kicking straight in there above the projectiles from Chandelure. Right, right. Nice. That was a, definitely a solid grab. Get, um, grabbing a Chandel, uh, our Pikachu Libre out of the counter frames. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that double team. Right, <laughs> avoiding the laser perfectly. Oh, uh -oh. Tough situation. Nice. I believe we'll be having a face shift here. Let's yeah. see if there's going to be a pursuit. Attack power increased as well for Pikachu Libre. Okay. Yeah, Shadow is definitely going to have to be careful using moves that are easily counterable right there by Pikachu Libre. Oh, and that uh, is definitely her bread and butter, it's looking like. Always getting that, that grab into it. Did you notice how after the wall splat, there was only 27 health? Uh, but then it just went straight to one. Oh, oh desperation! Uh, no, just out of no Oh, and it cancels each other out. I can't <laughs> believe it. I actually thought we were going to see a situation where the second burst attack was right. going to win. But instead, uh, yeah. That was smart of her. She activated her burst attack mode and her burst attack at the same time mm -hmm. he did. Good reactions from JoJo. Okay, here and we now it's 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one here in the set. Both of these players Look are... how serious they are. Okay, I think... Oh my gosh. Wait, and a, and a support change? It yeah. Looks like a support change. Actually, I thought we were going to see them uh, fix stages, but maybe, uh, okay, maybe, uh, you know what, maybe I might be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't affect it too much, I guess, but mm. some of them are like oval and long, and that might benefit characters like Chandelier or field phase characters, you know? Yeah. If they can stay even further away from their uh, opponent. Okay, so here we go. Game three between Jojo Senpai and Skill Tun, if I'm not mistaken. Did uh, Chandelier change their? Yeah, so yeah. they changed their um, their support, the Chandelier. So Chandelier is now opting for the Fennekin. The Basically, double. that great area of effect, that get off me assist, that's so great. It seemed like Pichu Libre was doing a good job getting in, and I think Fennekin is a good uh, <gasps> good choice because the Ember just knocks the people away. I really love how Jojo Senpai charged the counter attack yeah. right outside of Skill Ted's grab range. Oh, skill oh. Okay, fortunately, the second attack right there. At yeah, those swords. Yeah, right? Man, do such a great job. There's the pursuit. Wow, close range. That's actually a counterable uh, ranged attack as well. Wow. Oh. Yeah, you have to be careful. That move actually breaks counter attack. Huh. 74. Uh -oh. Okay, recovering some great health right there, but going right back down to 78. Yeah. <laughs> And she's in there though. This is her chance. Oh, wait. She. There's oh, a connection. Nice. 
Oh, the burst attack right there by Jojo but Senpai. I, do, I don't know if it's going to kill because of this damage scaling. Let's see. Is it going to fit? Not, not a KO this time. Well, not a KO this time. Yep, it, which is a per perfect example of how you have defense buff in rage mode. Right, right. Oh, oh didn't charge no. enough. Oh, man, the chandelier held on. Yeah, definitely. That was a really scary situation. After mm -hmm. taking a burst attack, only having a, not a small amount of health left, but still pulling through, hanging on to that counter attack. And Jojo sometimes going to have to realize that as well. Yeah. Um, in those pressure situations that Skilton likes to pull out the counter attack. Right. See. Right. Yeah, I think you don't want to do too many hits before you do your burst attack. You don't want to descale that much because that's going to be where most of your damage comes from. So I think she just made it too many hits right before. Perfect! What a counter! Yes. Jeez. Catching on to, to the zoning patterns of Skilton in dual phase. And that was a great mix-up. Putting on pressure and then waiting for the shield and then grabbing that. That's it. She Double team. <laughs> that looks so cool. Double team. Oh, and there's the pressure again. Okay, right there. You could tell Skilton is not trying to deal with that situation. Instead right. of counter-attacking right there, we see a jump from Jojo Senpai. Mm -hmm. Great anti with those swords. And initiating burst attack mode is a great way to get people off of you as well. Oh, definitely. Oh, tough situation. Uh -oh. And I don't think we're going to get it. Oh, no. Blocks the full. Is that going to? Nope. No. Okay, they both block. But it breaks the guard? Yep, lowering the, uh, the, the synergy, if I'm not mistaken. Great usage of double team right there. Just to get their hex. This oh. is going to be a follow-up. Ooh, gets the wall splat. But barely any damage. That did like six. Yeah, that's actually interesting. And going straight for Fennekin. We have another Fennekin call. Nice. Both players blocking it. Uh, I don't to know if you well. caught that. He did like a small little levitate there, so it avoided the low hit of Pikachu Libre. Pretty smart right there. Yeah, the high stance. Yeah. 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 Oh, and that is it. I believe that is Skeleton that has advanced. Oh, close, close game though. Yeah. Close set. Close definitely, set. Definitely, definitely a close game right there. Two one.